Travel writer Pete Buttigieg took to Twitter this week with a seemingly unexpected response to a post from Senator Ted Cruz, Republican Texas. Cruz is talking about a recent incident in Ohio where a train carrying hazardous chemicals was destroyed, the first step in the process of subsequent cleanup efforts sending these potentially dangerous toxins into the environment, habitat, and threatens local residents. Cruz indicated that he agrees with the views of Rep. Ilan Omar, Democrat Minnesota, is lobbying for immediate action by Congress and the Federal Department of Transportation. Buttigieg said, I'm happy to see a new second contract here. We can start by discussing what Congress can do to address rail safety and reduce barriers to us dot in this area. Call us, we can do a great job. Elsewhere on Twitter, Buttigieg also recently addressed some of the details of the department's actions to save the railroad and where Congress blocked those moves. Some of the most popular developments include raising federal funds to support rail safety, both before and after an actual incident. The latter category includes tens of millions of dollars in federal grants to support hazmat response. Buttigieg also pointed to the repeal of a high-profile law that required the use of brakes on trains carrying flammable liquids, which may have been similar to some of those involved in the Ohio incident. After the completion of the conference activities that require a new analysis of the specified economy, paid, and the benefits that accrue following concomitant events and in advance, or not, of measurement. In other words, there is a lot of evidence that refutes the story of the complete lack of respect for the situation and the things related to it by the federal authorities. These comments are not the first time Buttigieg has sought to push back against the views on social media of prominent Republicans who have expressed a clear or unequivocal view that he is out of touch or that does not accept the needs of the world. The first case involved the failure of Southwest Airlines around Christmas last year. Where is that Secretary Pete? Hashtag Southwest Airlines set a Twitter account for Republicans on the House Judiciary Committee. This news came long after the Ministry of Transport had already distributed its attention to the situation. Good morning! Buttigieg responded early the next morning. Now I'm on Capitol Hill, not far from your office. We will continue to deliver results for travelers using our capabilities and resources as a company. If you are asking for a policy that will support these resources, please be specific, I will be open to discussion.